And now we start the real window, right? The noon was just a precursor. 3.30, get some excitement in, baby. And let's start off with a ranked v ranked team. We got number one, Texas, who's 5-0, and last undefeated team in the SEC. Taking on number 18, Oklahoma, who's 4-1. Uh, Texas favored by 14.5 on ABC. Arch Manning has gone 55-78, been for 901 yards, 9 touchdowns, 2 interceptions. Yes, I know he will not be starting. It will be Quinn Ewers, but he is their leading passer as of right now. Um, Jaden Blue is at 51 carries for 238 yards and 4 touchdowns, and Isaiah Bonds at 20 catches for 364 yards and 3 touchdowns. Jackson Arnold's gone 61 to 102, thrown for 538 yards, 7 touchdowns, 3 interceptions. Javante Barnes is at 57 carries for 199 yards and 2 touchdowns, and Deion Burks, Burks has had 26 catches for 201 yards and 3 touchdowns. Uh, Texas is 63 and 51 against Oklahoma all time. Last game did go to Oklahoma in 2023, and Oklahoma has won five of the last six times these TTs have played. Uh, Texas is one and two under Sark against Oklahoma. To be fair, Brett Venables is only one and one against Texas. Neither has a winning record against the other, uh, against the the main rivals of those schools. Um, Again, this game's interesting simply because it's the number one team in the country, right? They're playing their rivals in Oklahoma. Oklahoma hasn't looked great. I will say that. I don't think it's an insanely great football team. But this is Texas. This is the Red River rivalry, baby. It, literally anything could happen. Almost all of these games are pretty close. They have been pretty close for a while now. That's, that's Last year's game was a was a classic, right? Like, and if Texas hadn't lost such a close game and against Washington in the playoffs, that was absolutely going to be Texas's most heartbreaking loss of the year. This game has the possibility of being really, really interesting. Again, River for rivalry, there's so much at stake. Number one team in the country, last undefeated team in the SEC. I understand not in SEC play. There's three undefeated in SEC play in A&M and A&M and LSU. Um, but, but Texas is actually good, guys. They're a really good football team. And... I mean, Oklahoma's not a bad football team, but they've had some close calls um, against not great opponents. Um, Texas has yet to have a really close call. I mean, like, yeah, not really. It hasn't really happened yet. Texas has yet to be really, really tested. I mean, Mississippi State gave them a little bit of a fight, um, but they pulled away in the second half. Texas has yet to be extremely tested. I think that could change a little bit here today. I think Oklahoma's going to give them a game. Um, the Sooners are a solid football team. Um, Texas plays Georgia next week. I understand that they had a bye the week before, so but look ahead is probably not realistic, especially considering this is your main rival. Um, but this is a big game. This is a big game for both teams. This could keep play Oklahoma in the playoff race if you can win this game if you're Oklahoma. Unfortunately for Sooner fans, I don't think that happens. I, I do like the Longhorns in this matchup, but 14.5 is way too many points for this game. Give me Texas to win, but I like Oklahoma to cover the 14.5 point spread.